The doomsday clock is now 100 seconds away from disaster. Preppers are getting ready and prepping like there is no tomorrow. Now, many people refer to these events as the apocalypse, but for most preppers, we call it SHTF. Now, we've never been this close before to nuclear war. With military and political tension rising all over the world, we're just one step away from a nuclear war and SHTF becoming real. Now, what these world leaders don't realize is there are no winners if World War III breaks out. It's only broken souls and shattered humanity. Imagine if you woke up to this tomorrow morning. How would you deal with that? How would you survive? Are you prepared and have you been prepping? Well, if you don't have an answer or if you don't understand what's happening in our world, that's what I'm going to cover next in this video. Now, let's take a moment first to understand what nuclear war means by looking at the power and capability of nuclear weapons and what countries around the world are stockpiling them. First, you have non-strategic nuclear weapons like tactical nukes, which are small, precise, and can be fired or delivered from multiple weapon systems. Now, these are much smaller in nuclear yield, but are more dangerous in my opinion because these tactical nukes are mobile and can be positioned anywhere around the world. Now, in contrast to their big brother, strategic nukes are the massive nukes that you've seen in movies and on the news. Now, these nuclear weapons are pointed at strategic sites and are ready to fire once the so-called red button is pushed. Now, these nuclear weapons are world enders and world, a nuclear World War III would begin. So much power that if the United States, Russia, or China fired one of these off, the world would be completely and utterly destroyed. That would be a true SHTF scenario like the Book of Eli. and thistles it shall bring forth for us for out of the ground we were taken for the dust we are to the dust we shall return with world leaders in control of so much devastating power the future of humanity doesn't look good now, for years, many theorists and military strategists have said that a nuclear war is not winnable and also very unlikely to occur because no one single leader would want to cause the destruction and the end of all mankind. They say that a nuclear war would end human life on Earth and that there would be few, if any, survivors. So for years, America and even America's enemies have towed the line and stayed away from placing nuclear weapons on the table. But be careful because there is some new thinking out there, guys, that whether a nuclear war is not only possible, but if it could be winnable. Now, Putin in recent weeks has threatened to use nuclear weapons. The Russian government, as you know, has a deep underground bunker called Mount Yamanta. The impenetrable mountain base has a full supply of food, weapons, and communications capabilities if they had to go underground and fight the war on the surface. The Russians actually do believe that a nuclear war, again, is not only plausible, but winnable. What do you guys think about this? Is a nuclear war possible or better yet, is it even winnable? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now, this Mount Yamanta means evil mountain or bad mountain. Now, based upon that thinking, let's examine something a little bit closer, something that you probably aren't aware of. Now, there's a mural located inside the United Nations that actually shows some of these events that are to come. Now, this mural is located inside the Security Council meeting room of the United Nations. Now, let's take a look at what it shows and depicts, and you will be shocked. But before we do, please support this channel and my work by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, hitting the notification bell, and sharing this video out with a friend or a loved one, because I do feel that this is a very important video. Now, I enjoy making videos for you guys and bringing you the truth every single time, but I need your help in spreading the word about the work that I'm trying to do here at All Day Everyday Preparedness. All right, guys, thank you for your support. It is much appreciated. OK, here we go. This mural is all about a new beginning, a fresh start after the world has been destroyed. Now, the main point of this mural is focused on the phoenix, as you can see here in the middle right there. Now, back in ancient Egypt, the Egyptians believed that this phoenix symbolized Lucifer, that he had risen unto heaven as a bright morning star. 
Now, as you can see, this phoenix isn't rising from the ashes, but is standing on top of its old skin, much like a snake or serpent that has just shed their old skin. Now, at the top left of the mural, we see some people gathered together in front of a church. Now, as we pan down, we see a woman taking in the sunlight and worshiping the sun, S-U-N, not S-O-N, or the Savior. Now, just below her, we have a man playing Pan's flute. Now, as we move directly across to the right, we see people gathered together and joined together by a long blue cloth or string. Now, as we move down below the phoenix, we see the death of the dragon's old image or the death of Satan's old image. You can see the sword going directly through the serpent. We see the death of all religions that depict Lucifer or Satan as a dragon or a beast. Also in this mural, the new world worships him as beautiful and as a beacon of light. Also, the soldier standing right there on top of the tail of the beast or the dragon, it symbolizes worldwide military power and control. Now, as you see here, the soldier is also tipping his cap and looking towards the elites that are climbing out of their underground bunkers who have been hiding there during SHTF or the so-called apocalypse. Now, in the center, located right above the phoenix, we see a couple kneeling together. The woman has flowers in her hand, and both the man and woman are joined together with one of those weird Masonic handshakes, as you can see. Now, it appears they are getting married. Also, notice directly above them in the tree, you see a serpent in human form tempting the little girl with an apple. So that's all pretty weird, right? All pretty diabolical, all pretty wicked, and that's the truth. So whether you believe it or not, this mural is inside the United Nations Security Council. And also these elites, these politicians, these world governments, guys, they're all in it together. And they have big plans for the world. And in this new world, you're going to have an even smaller part in it. You're going to have less freedoms, no choices, and basically you're going to be a modern day slave to this new world and the new system that emerges from the ashes of this old world. So yes, guys, a nuclear war and SHTF is a major possibility. Now, as a prepper, that's why I prepare. And that's exactly why you should start prepping and preparing also. You see, the times ahead that we're going to face, they're going to be trying and they're going to be difficult. There's no bones about it. But if you want to learn more about how you can get prepared for the things that's coming on this earth, please check out some of these videos right here. They can help you get prepared for what's coming. Well, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to support this channel by liking this video, subscribing to the channel if you haven't, and sharing it out with a friend and loved one so my message continues to spread across the YouTube platform. But guys, continue to prepare and as always, be blessed.